The wide receiver had to undergo a four-hour surgery on February 16 to rebuild his left orbital socket by February 22, 2021 8 6 p.m. University of Oklahoma football player Spencer Jones is recovering from severe injuries that resulted from a fight at a local college bar. The wide receiver and three other men broke out into a fight inside the bathroom of a bar called Logie's on the corner in Norman, Oklahoma, on February 13. While it's unclear who started the fight, the four men can be seen in a video posted to social media throwing punches at one another. Get push notifications with news, features and more. Plus follow following you'll get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notifications. Jones nearly lost his eye during the brawl, his attorney Woodrow, Woody, Glass told OUDaily.com. The wide receiver had to undergo a four-hour surgery on February 16 to rebuild his left orbital socket. According to Glass, the doctor who performed the surgery said that Jones is extraordinarily lucky at this point, that he's lucky he didn't lose the eye altogether, OUDaily.com reported. Glass added that the doctor was able to do some things surgically to rebuild that orbital socket and thinks everything is eventually going to come back to normal, but it's going to take a while for him to fully recover. Jones's lawyer also claimed his client was trying to de-escalate that situation. But unfortunately, it wasn't de-escalated despite his best efforts, and he became the victim of this vicious assault you've seen, he added. Glass did not immediately respond to people's request for comment. A Twitter user who identified himself as Braden Brown said he was one of the men in the video, writing, just to get rid of the misconceptions, I'm the fellow in the beanie and that is my brother. We are not wrestlers at any university, we have been wrestling since we were in diapers and MMA, cage fighting since we were 12. They gave us no options unfortunately. We showed restraint. Brown did not immediately respond to people's request for comment. Never miss a story. Sign up for People's free daily newsletter to stay up to date on the best of what People has to offer, from juicy celebrity news to compelling human interest stories. Jones filed a police report on February 16. The Norman Police Department was not called to respond to the incident on the date it occurred, the department tells People. An active investigation into this incident is ongoing. The NPD report shows that they are investigating a complaint of two counts of aggravated assault and battery, though no arrests have been made.